Alrighty guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again today and today we're gonna go throwing this back to a time when I used to cover watch content and I, I, I still do but I stopped for a while due to budgeting and I couldn't essentially buy new watches to fund the content on the channel. That said, recently I saved for a grail watch and I'm prefacing this before I give you guys this beautiful a view of it because there's a big twist. So I, I was saving for a Tudor Pelagos or Pelagos and I went on eBay. I found some deals. Some of them were 3000 some of them were 2800 One of them was like 2700 um, 2700 USD. And I ordered it. Now unfortunately when I was ordering this I didn't look for that authentic guarantee or um, the, the eBay guarantee that proved that it was an authentic watch. I just purchased one from an eBayer who had, it looked like 100% uh, positive reviews. And what I got in the mail a few weeks later was this. Hopefully that's focusing. It is what I like to call the Tudor Hack Bay Pelagos. Um, this is a fake ripoff watch. Um, the Pelagos is supposed to be titanium. This is stainless steel here at least. This is not supposed to be aluminum bezel insert. This is here. The dial looks somewhat accurate, but there's not supposed to be a, a date window uh, bubble here in the actual watch. It's not supposed to be a display back like this watch, even though it has a Tudor decorated weight. Um, this isn't stainless steel. This is like plastic. There is no unscrewable crown here. This is essentially just a pop-up uh, crown. So that, what does it say, 500 meters of water resistance is more like none. The bracelet, also steel. The, the links are actually pretty quality on the bracelet, but it's a pressed clasp, um, not a milled one. One of the worst clasps I've ever seen. Look at that. Tinny crap. Um, so yeah. Wanted to show you guys this because I will never be wearing this. I did get my money back uh, via P PayPal, not eBay. I went through PayPal, told them I received the fake, and they gave me my money back in about a couple weeks. That said, I want to use this as a learning lesson. Uh, make sure you get that authentic guarantee on a listing on a watch that you're spending above a thousand USD on eBay because otherwise this could happen to you. Now, what I'm going to do is no matter what destroy this watch. Um, if this video takes off, I will uh, do a, a poll on my community channel of my, or the community post of my channel where you guys will vote whether I might be able to take a hammer to this on a video uh, submerse it very deep on a video, um, run over it with my car or motorcycle on the video, or chuck it. Uh, any anything that wins the vote I'll end up doing with this. I am not going to wear this. I do not support counterfeit watches or any type of illegal selling of watches. So this is a total junker in my book. And like I said, I got my money back, so I mean... In reality, this is maybe worth like ten dollars, and it's a Chinese ripoff, from what I can tell, uh, or a Japanese ripoff. It's definitely a ripoff, though. So, wanted to share this video because uh, wanted to get some watch content for you guys, and wanted to tell you guys about an experience I had with eBay. And I will be getting the real Tudor Pelgos eventually, but um, this kind of deterred me from it. Not not the watch, but just buying on eBay or secondhand, so I'll probably have to buy new. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to let me know down below in the comment area. If you're interested in more watch content, motorcycle content, or lifestyle tech content, please subscribe to Fun With AJ, um, this channel. And if you want me to destroy this watch in a way that you want to vote on, please subscribe, because then you'll get a notification of when the poll's up. Alright guys? Until next time, it's your friendly neighborhood, fun with AJ.